I'd also like to especially thank the Muscovian people for making us at home in their territory. with a question. Uh, I guess the, the question I would have for you is, what did you discover the most as you got on this project? Because you had a lot of background knowledge, but what was the biggest surprise for you? I'll get you the mic. I was frankly staggered with what I saw because I, I live here and I did I I, I was just staggered with how little I knew and it made me realize how little and because I've seen a lot of films most films that are made here so it's not only from films there are stories that we haven't heard and I want to pass this on so they're going to tell a story because I'm not the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, as I said in my introduction, that um, our story has never, has never been told outside of our community. We as children learned every day that who we were and where we came from. And uh, it was so wonderful that we had a lot of our young, well, not so young now, but uh, <laughs> at that time, young children paying attention to what, what they were listening to. And they were able to, as you saw in the film, be able to communicate to uh, the audience what um, they heard. <laughs> the words that were coming out of their mouths weren't theirs. They were the words that were expressed to them that they had heard from their, their parents and grandparents. And um, we all knew about the Snom right ever since as young children. And uh, many of us cried in a sense when we saw people taking things away from that little area. And it, it embraces approximately about six city square blocks ar around in that area. And every time a new building would go up, that uh, we had no vehicle of any kind to be able to, to um, stop the so-called progress that we talked about. But now things are changing and um, we're happy. And I should have said at the very onset that we as the Muslim people, in particular Muslim Chief and Council, we're so proud of our elders and our people, especially our women, who stood at the front lines and held vigil for those many days, every night and day. And uh, we as council couldn't be out front because it was a litigation and a launching and, uh, and they knew that. So they, they stood there in front and um, we are known as a warrior nation, a protector. And uh, it was demonstrated in the courtrooms with Shaughnessy and Sparrow case. And physically, we saw the same attitude come out in Tesnam to protect what we believe was right, that it should not be altered. And that we ask you, and thank you to Maya, that we can ask the citizens of Vancouver to support us as we try to acquire 
the other pieces along that corridor to make it into a beautiful parkland so that we all can enjoy and we can all say, this is part of our history too. Uh, feel free to, if you have any questions, please. say that Suzanne is a relative of all of ours. <laughs> no, and uh, she's the um, granddaughter of uh, Susan Point, the artist that uh, I'm sure many of you may be familiar with. But uh, Suzanne has now grown into a very beautiful, well, even more beautiful young lady that stands about 5'11". <laughs> and uh, She's even more engaged in the, the history and uh, political side of, of Musgrove's life that uh, she's now working out at, uh, she's in grade 12, I believe, you know, at uh, Kitsilano High School, and still presents herself in a, from a Musgrove perspective. And um, she's also a leading individual who uh, educates the individuals out at uh, UBC as because we just named uh, three, two, two or three uh, new um, dorms that were constructed by UBC for UBC students. So she's quite active. <laughs> and one of those buildings was named Chesnam, by the way. All right, please. Uh, why are you asking so little? Why didn't ask for more? <laughs> Thank you. I think we're going to let that question hang in the air. Oh, it's coming. I saw another hand. Please. Um, we currently have a registered population of uh, approximately 1,400 plus, but we also have about another significant number resident in our community of other First Nations who married into our community or are living uh, in, in our area as well. But as well, we have a fairly large number of individuals, Muscovy members, who uh, are not what you would call registered or status Indians, unfortunately. We, we love them and we care for them, they're part of us, but they're not counted in the census records. So I would imagine that there's a probably about another two, three, or four hundred that uh, are out there that uh, are not registered status Indians of Musqueam. Please. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say how amazing it is to see uh, coming out of this vigil tonight. <laughs> um, everything that's the, the energy that's continuing on with the city, city before the city uh, exhibits and uh, this film and Cessnaut and Lalum at, at UBC. Uh, it's great. Um, I want to shout out the, the uh, Museum of Vancouver exhibit still on at, at Museum of Vancouver. I wanted to ask anyone from that team. Uh, what was it like? It, it, you, it mentioned in the film uh, that um, Museum of Vancouver actually held a lot of those uh, artifacts that were taken. Uh, what was it like working with that institution um, and, and kind of repairing that relationship? And, and yeah, I want to know about that. <laughs> well, um, I think we have a number of people that we have Terry Point. Jordan. Uh, Jordan Wilson and Leona. That one of you want to grab the mic? <laughs> <laughs> to um, to view all the items of belongings that were held by the Vancouver Museum was quite awe-inspiring, and uh, it was a chore to 
uh, go through them all and pick the finest pieces because there were so many pieces of so many belongings that were there that we could have put into a display. And it was also an educational experience for the staff at the Museum of Vancouver and uh, the, the support teams that worked with us. They learned an awful lot as well. And, um, and also throughout the process, we were in, inspiring and teaching some of the younger people in our community. So it was overall, it was a very good experience for everyone, a learning experience for everyone on our side and the museum side. Uh, we worked with the Museum of uh, anthropology as well. So to get the three parties together was even more challenging because at each must be a museum of Vancouver and museum of anthropology all have a little bit different operating style. But it worked out extremely well in the end. <laughs> and Maya's put it all together for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a, a, a band member that wants to ask you a question, so I'll leave, if that's okay. <laughs> He's a little different. I see a few familiar faces out there, but it's a little harder than the lights. Can we get our, uh, if you came and stood with us, if you cooked me a hot dog, if you held the sign, signed the petition, if you were down there standing with us and helping us out, if you could just stand up and let us see that you're here. On behalf of the Vancouver International Film Festival and the audience, I'd like to say hi to the guy.
good too. Thank you.